All right, good morning. Welcome along to another day here on planet Earth. As I said, I'm still in St. Richard's Hospital, but I'm another step from leaving. Oh yes, yesterday the OCs came round and I managed to sit up on the edge of the bed, foot on the floor, and nearly transfer from here to my wheelchair. The only thing stopping me was the difference in lip. We needed the banana board, so today, they are coming back with a banana board. And hopefully, if I can transfer with no problems, they'll send me home because there's nothing wrong with me. No. Well, apart from having one leg, there is, because I'd probably fall over on my own. Now, it's getting me thinking back to when I was a kid, when I lived in Dartford. There was an old man, I can't think of his name. He used to wander up west, sorry, East Hill. And he used to have the old pair of crutches that went up and under the arms. Do you remember them? Not the, not the rounded ones, the actual proper old crutches. And he managed to go all the way up East Hill with these damn crutches. He went everywhere. And I thought, what an inspiration to somebody who's lost a limb to really give it a go. So I'm not giving up. I'm not sitting down and saying, no, sod it. I want to be a bed person or a chair person. I want to walk, I want a prosthetic leg. Well, I can't even say the word. That's what I want. I want to be able to play games with Siobhan and Tracy. Go for walks along the seafront, that would be nice. Yeah, we've got a vascular nurse, Abby, she's been round today. And she went, oh, doesn't your other leg look good? It's gone down a lot, it's the water stopped coming out. But you need to keep creaming it to make sure it's supple, so. She left me a tub of cream for me to apply twice a day, which I will be doing. Uh, I was a naughty boy last night. I had my favourite dinner here. Oh, yes. Chips, beans, and <laughs> a chicken and mushroom slice. I'll tell you what, that's a meal in itself. There's so much on that plate. So um, I look forward to ordering it again. I had uh, the chickpea and curry korma at lunchtime. I asked for a satsuma rather than a banana. And the bloke came in and said, oh, no satsumas, you can have a jelly. I thought, well, he said, I don't know if they've uh, presumed that's a substitute. Anyway, 10 minutes into me korma, in come the dinner lady and said, they, they found you a satsuma, so they brought one up. Little do they know that I've got two that Tracy brought me up today anyway with some clean clothes. I've uh, got some Marvel milk for me cups of coffee. Because, as I said, I've cut out all dairy produce. You should see my breakfast. I had a marmalade and banana toasty. No butter. No. And it was horrible. Don't try a marmalade and banana toasty because it's not very nice. That's right, I'm sitting here waiting for the nurse to come in to ask if I want help washing. That's one advantage, I suppose. You get washed by lovely nurses. Well, most of the time. Some of them are big strapping blokes. But they're nice as well. Yeah, that surprised you, didn't it, Terry? Well, what's on order for today? I don't know. I haven't decided what I'm going to have for uh, dinner yet. I've got to make my mind up soon, because she'll be around asking me. I'm thinking of trying the um, jacket potato for dinner. And I might get a tuna sandwich and some chips for lunch. I don't know if they'll do that. I haven't asked. I suppose they would. Um, and blood sugars have been between 5 and 8 today, which is very, very good. Blood pressure's normal. Everything's normal. Apart from me, I'm not normal. No. Got to say hello to my old mucker, Dave Howard, again. Thanks for the message, Dave. Yep, totally agree. Well, Boris Johnson again, surprising us with another message last night. What do you think of that? Do you reckon it'll work? I reckon we should be putting permanent lockdown. That'll work. It'd stop people running around like headless chickens. It's because of them they don't realise that Tracy and Siobhan haven't seen their dad since the 17th of November, uh, December. They can't come and see me when they wanted, over Christmas. Couldn't spend Christmas Day with me. Couldn't spend New Year with me. 
could even come and say hello, Dad, how you doing? But hey, never mind. We will learn to behave one day. One day when it's too late. Right, whatever you're doing today, as normal, have a great one. I love you lots. Please subscribe and leave me a nice comment down below and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Love to all. Ta-ra.